I have completed my graduation in BTEC Mechanical Engineering. I graduated from the year 2021 in Mechanical Engineering. I'm a Mechanical Engineering graduate from Panimalar Institute of Technology. I was driven towards Design Engineering. So I took up course in a skill link, which is master certification in design engineering. I am now placed in Scient as CIE engineer. Right now I am working with Scient as design engineer. I have been placed in Scient as a CIE engineer through skill link. I feel that skill link is a very good online learning platform for engineers those who want to succeed in their core domain. They will update the course according to the industry needs. Mainly it will provide a perfect technical courses. It will help from scrap to high level knowledge from the courses and it helps the students to give the jobs. Something which uh, bridges the gap between the college student and the industry. And there are also various workshops that are mind skilling. And with that students can gain a lot of knowledge and they can also meet various industrial exports in these meetings. Skilling offering more programs based upon the interest, they will train you and get you a job in a good company. To describe it in one word, it is bright because I know what is relevant to my domain and what I should be doing. One day when I was scrolling through YouTube, I found a video of uh, uh, skill link in which Sarang sir was explaining some in interesting facts. And I went on with the various reviews in Quora and some of the websites which was more exciting for me to learn and uh, think about joining in skill link. A person from skill link have contacted me and have interacted me through mail and he said that we have opening the skill centers in Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad. Then I looked into all the various courses that skill link was offering which was CFD in design, manufacturing and all of those stuff. They were providing uh, industrial relevant projects in uh, 3D softwares like uh, CATIA, SOLIDWORKS and NXCAT. As I was driven towards designing, so uh, finally I decided to took a course in skilling, which is Master Certification in Design Engineering. The course which I opted in skilling was CA Master Certification. The thing which made me to take that course was the developing stream of CIE in this present world is the main thing. The design master certification course has six modules which covers all aspects of designing from basics to advanced level. During the course I learned a lot of new softwares, one of which was NX and NX was something which is widely used in industries which I came to know later because during college days we were taught CATIA, AutoCAD, some a little bit of SOLIDWORKS but NX was something which was widely used and it was a little different than the softwares that was I was currently familiar with. As they were offering SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, NX CAT and the geometrical dimension and tolerance they were teaching from scratch to advanced level in Ultimate SOLIDWORKS course, I designed the American Chopper and Sunseeker Yacht. In Plastic Design, I, I was involved in developing the class A, B and C surfaces of the plastic components. And my major project was development of the door trim. I came to learn about uh, basics of sheet metals and how to design sheet metal parts in an XCAD. As this workbench, it's, it's a top software where it will be very interesting. We can know about the background softwares of what it was taking place. The theoretical part of it, even with, within the theory, it was more practical. It uh, was very easy to understand and they gave a lot of uh, real life uh, examples to make us understand the concepts. During my interview with Scient, I was asked a lot of questions about GDNT and a lot of um, questions related to software that they use with them right now. In SOLIDWORKS, we were working with uh, bike and then Sunseeker Yachat. We were doing in part and assembly workbenches. In NXCAD, we were doing in uh, sheet metal as well as the BAW surface design. In CATIA, we were working in surface modeling and in that pro CATIA, we were doing industrial level and projects like uh, car door, coin holder and then doing some master section. This helped me to crack my uh, interview in Scient. After completing uh, this course, I'm starting to 
work on CATIA software where I learn how to design plastic components and mold particles so that they are very useful for me during the interview why because 10 to 15 minutes of the interview are asked the questions related to the answers workbench of the skilling projects there is a great team developed in skilling for the customer success team in this team there are various executives who help students in getting placements my customer success team uh, engineer was uh, gopinath sir he used to tell me where in which part i was lacking for like suppose in introduction or like uh, what uh, i should answer in hr round he helped me uh, in a uh, interview tips and then uh, the questions were asked in interview so he guided me how to answer the questions as well as how to improve more our uh, technical knowledge in the subjects customer success team contacted me and uh, they helped me in building my resume according to the industry standards they have created the resume they have helped in resume building and how to start or plan the connections in linkedin they told me how i should be presenting my linkedin account to be more relevant to the recruiters so that my profile stands out compared to my competitors and i have to say due to them my linkedin profile got a little more engaged with you know a different kind of people from my domain related to my domain itself they send me the job openings available and i apply to the jobs when i got the job they conducted the mock interviews to help me crack the interview generally a small suggestion for me to my skilling friends is concentrate on the mechanical basics take the course in a very good manner and try to get as much knowledge relevant to the domain or the course which they are enrolled and also practice all the tools that they are learning be clear with the topics whatever you study and be precise and accurate in clearing the challenges that they provide with respect to the videos which you watch they should concentrate on the theory part of the courses because uh, they play a prominent role during interviews attend mocks interviews they make you confident and make you comfortable with the interview in mock interviews don't be lethargic uh, always uh, study about the basics fundamentals continue working hard on the projects do it well and trust skilling with whatever uh, they have promised i am very happy that i have placed as a ca engineer at saint because saint is one of the multinational company i want to learn more skills uh, through my job and uh, apply it in an efficient manner i think my future is quite good i got a good job as a fresher in the domain which i was interested I think i am planning to do a little a few more courses with skilling because they are quite interesting it just i need to work hard with my domain with my company and just move forward